<laughs> we'll turn now to Dr. Ashton answering your questions. First viewer question here. One, what is causing the surge in COVID-19 cases in India right now? Is it possible we could see something similar happen here? So let's take the second part of that question. The answer is unfortunately, yes. This pandemic has shown us that we cannot take a US centric view to COVID-19. It does not work that way. We have a global economy. People come in from other parts of the world and supply chain issues. We are all connected. That's why all eyes are on India right now. So what's going on there? Epidemiologists, public health officials, kind of confused. They, they can't point to one factor to say this is what is causing India to be the global hotspot right now. Some theories are that there was uneven distribution, if you will, of the virus earlier in 2020, where they found 50% of the population had been exposed. So they thought they were on their way to herd immunity, but they have a patchy geography to their population. That may be at play. There's this so-called double mutation that's circulating there, more transmissible. We talked last week about the fact that most people being admitted to the hospital in their 20s and 30s, that is a big concern. And they have massive and crippling shortages of everything from oxygen tanks to beds to supplies to testing to vaccines. All of that really lighting the fuse and making that a powder keg. Very important to keep an eye on what's going on there. All right, next question, Dr. Jen. How often should the average person with no underlying medical conditions get blood work done? I love this question. So it gives me an opportunity to say one of my favorite Ashtonisms in medicine, which is you should not do a test unless you know what you will do with the results of that test. And there is absolutely no recommendation that a healthy individual of any age get routine blood work. And when you talk about what that means, it means different things. If you look at the U.S. Preventive Service Task Force guidelines for screening, they get very specific. If you're screening for diabetes or STDs, HIV, hepatitis, yes, those people should be tested. And that could range anywhere from 18 of age older. But just to do a blood test, mm. not a fan. Okay. All right. Good to know. <laughs> All right, Dr. Ashton, thank you so much. You Folks, that. you continue to submit your questions to Dr. Jen on our Instagram at Dr. J. Ashton. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.